Hey Capricorn, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for April 25th to the 26th of 2023. Alright, let's get started with an oracle card message for Capricorn. Frog, creativity. Hedgehog, Disguise, Seal, Vulnerability, and over RNG is Gnome, Custodianship. I feel like you could be very sensitive about showing someone like some artwork or something you're creating or some type of creative idea you have. It doesn't even have to involve art. I just feel like you have some creative idea or, or something you're creating or you've come up with and you're nervous about showing anyone until you put the finishing touches on it. Yeah, with known custodianship, I feel like that's home, like a sacred space. You're nervous about showing someone this. Like I, I literally see someone throwing a blanket over a painting or covering it. You're embarrassed to let someone see it. Let's get into the tarot. I'm not sure why. Maybe you feel like it, it feels very vulnerable to you because you created it. So you feel like if they they judge what you created, it's a judgment of you. So someone here is trying to hide their vulnerability or disguise their vulnerability or weaknesses or their creative side. Moon card. Yeah, Pisces. Someone, you're hiding this. I feel like it's you, but put it where it goes. Queen of Wands. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, full card Aquarius. I feel like you feel like this person's going to judge you, but they're not for cups. I feel like you think this person, so with still vulnerability with four cups, someone's trying to act disinterested or like something's not sensitive to them, but it actually is. Six of wands. I feel like you're afraid to show this fire sign or this fire sign's afraid to show you. I feel like you're going to be getting a lot of victory success praise or attention in the next 48 hours because you're being like you're deciding to show something a sensitive side of yourself and being confident in that i feel like someone here is being vulnerable in the next 48 hours and it actually leads to you coming off more confident instead of weak so maybe you were afraid to show this side of yourself or open up because you thought it would look weak or you would be judged, but it actually makes you look strong or confident and you're getting a lot of praise for this. Let's clarify. I just, I just feel like there's a side of someone that they were hiding out of fear and they become vulnerable and they end up getting like praised. Clarifying the moon is the queen of cups. Yeah, being more vulnerable, hiding their emotions or in the subconscious. Death card, Scorpio. Clarifying the queen of wands is the eight of cups. Two of wands. So I definitely feel like with that death card and the moon, something like that eclipse definitely. Someone definitely has... um. Scorpio significant like in their chart it could be a Scorpio moon but I feel like that eclipse on the fifth is definitely gonna hit hard if you resonate with this but I also feel like you're just coming out of being hidden or in the subconscious or hiding and you're coming out eight of cups clarifying the queen of wands you're coming out and being more confident and more open and more vulnerable instead of seeing it as a weakness you're seeing it as a strength clarifying the fool is the king of wands yeah the king and queen of wands this could just be your masculine and feminine fiery energy being balanced utilizing both or you're going from your feminine to your masculine fiery energy but I do see like a relationship here for some of you. Could be with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So there's a strong pull between you two. You could have this person blocked right now. <laughs> okay. So someone has blocked someone, walked away, moved on. That person's coming back. You think it's over. It's not. Clarifying the four cups of the high priestess, Pisces. You knew it wasn't over. You knew this person was going to come back. Seven of Pentacles. Over orange is the six of swords. 
So someone thought they walked away or thought they were going somewhere, but that person's coming back. I feel like someone walked away and blocked somebody. Whoever you walked away from or blocked, or if they walked away from, whoever did the walking away and blocking is coming back. So if someone walked away from you or blocked you, they're coming back. Or if you blocked some or someone or walked away, they're coming towards you. I feel like if you have some type of success or vulnerability or whatever, this person will be like praising you on the sidelines. I just feel like there's someone you just had this feeling of this knowing because I don't feel like there's any hard feelings, even though someone walked away or even though someone's blocked, I don't see any hard feelings between you and this person. Someone more so feels like that you are a missed opportunity. They know this. Someone feels like, or they know now in the next 48, they will that they missed out on an opportunity for a long-term like relationship with you and stability with you. Someone's realizing this. Yeah, someone's having a major like heart chakra awakening or opening, whether it's you or this person you're dealing with. It's like someone's heart was blocked or whatever for one reason or another. And that's being opened, let go of, like, yeah. And so in the next 48 hours, this person, you may be hearing from this person. I'm not saying that they want to rush in and automatically get back together, but they're definitely going to open up and be vulnerable with you. It's going to catch you off guard. How like, like honest and open they're going to be about this. It's going to definitely throw you off guard. And I don't see any animosity or hate or um, what is it? Bitterness or resentment. This person is just being genuine. Like they really love you and have feelings for you and they want to invest. And they, they realize that they could have had that with you. All right, I'm going to pull from this deck and then this one. For Capricorn. Sheesh. All right, we have milk, nourishment, parents, nostalgia, creature's paw, the other, friendship, forgiveness, house, stability, stagnation, family. So family and children could be involved for some of you. Four, danger, aggression, masculinity. Maybe that could have been one of the issues why things did not work out between you two. And someone's addressing that issue within themselves. They're, they're realizing someone's growing up all right i'm gonna pull six cards from this deck i feel like there will be um reconciliation forgiveness between you two again i'm not saying that y'all just gonna get back together but there is a strong pull between you two all right yeah break so it may be it's a temporary break this is a temporary break y'all gonna be right back in each other's lives we have quiet so if this person walked away just leave them alone they're gonna come back zero I'm going to pull some more. Try to get you at least three more for Capricorn. Okay, that's a lot, but I'm going to take them. All right, November. So um, November could have been a significant time. I've, I've heard, I'm not an astrologer, but I've heard that um, the eclipse that just came was eclipsing out whatever happened in November. So I've heard. From, um, I forgot, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but her name's Marion, and she's an astrologer. She has, like, red hair. Y'all probably seen her before on YouTube, almost. Facebook. I hope I'm not misquoting her. <laughs> abuse. So someone could have had an abuse of power or abuse of the masculine energy within them, and it could stem from childhood. No excuses, but I'm just saying could have inherited this from childhood abuse possibly and now they're aggressive or they have anger issues or something night so something could happen at night yes so if you had a yes or no question is a yes feminine okay morning and new moon so Sagittarius had masculine I think it was either Sagittarius or Scorpio so you may want to check those out they had masculine you have feminine okay all right, I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.